since I've been in a slump, slump half through that. Hey friends. Hey friends. Hey friends, it's me, Alana. Welcome back to my channel. You're all you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I want to do my August TBR for you all. So I have a couple of books that I'm really wanting to get to this month. Um, some are for the black hotties, and then the rest are just for me personally. Um, I'm also going to be taking part in one readathon, not four, like last month or three or however many I did just one <laughs> and that one is going to be the um Disney-a-thon so that takes place the whole month of August and it's based off of different teams based off different Disney movies so the team that I'm on is the Princess and the Frog team and I'm gonna be honest that I just combined my regular August TBR with the prompts for these. So, so I'll put the prompts up here and honestly, I think any of these books could probably fit these prompts. So whenever I do my wrap up, when I'll tell you about what book I read for what prompt. So starting off, the first book I have that I would like to read is the Black Hotties group book that we chose for our book club this month and that was Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed. We chose this like in the middle of July because we were kind of all excited to check this out and read it because we had su heard such good things. So I'm really excited to check this out and read it and I think our live show should be somewhere towards the end of the month like we did last month and yeah. Just super excited. We're all doing reading sprints this month that we're going to host on the channel to encourage people to read along with us. And we're also doing just Zoom sprints ourselves to get stuff read. So it's a fun time. The next book I have that I'm also reading for the Black Hottie is because we decided to do another spreadsheet. It's not as chaotic as last time though. So it's just a, a favorite spreadsheet where we read each other's favorites. So the book that I chose is Cinderella is Dead by Kaylin Bayron. This is Cecilia from Cecilia Reads' favorite book. And so I picked this because I owned it, but also because I'm really excited to read this. So hopefully I enjoy it as much as she did. So now getting into just the normal books. So the next book I have is a book I actually started last month and I knew I wasn't going to finish it. So I just started it so that way I could roll it over into this month. And that is House of Blo Earth and Blood by Sarah J Maas. This is a thick one, that's why I started it and I'm hoping to finish it this month. I've tabbed off like the sections that I need to get through. <laughs> and yeah, we'll see how I feel, we'll see if I actually finish it. But I'm hoping that it'll be a goal that I accomplish this month. The next book I have is One Dark Throne by Kendara Blake. I'm trying to work on reading sequels and just like continuing on in a series rather than just waiting years and years to finish them. So this is a sequel to Three Dark Crowns and so I am really looking forward to checking this out. Also it's part of my summer TBR. I'm gonna be honest with y'all by the end of this month my summer TBR is probably going to be dismantled. I haven't done a good job of sticking to it. I've done a good job of getting some good reading in the past few months which has honestly been great since I've been in a slump half the year. But uh, I didn't really do a good job of sticking to that summer two years, so we'll see how much I actually get done with that. The next book I have is White Oleander by Janet Fitch. But this is also on my summer TBR. I really want to read this because I loved the movie. Like, I adored the movie. The movie is so good. Um, and I feel like the book is going to be just as good. I just need to sit down and pick it up, basically. So hopefully I can do that at some point this month. The next book I have is also on my summer TBR, and that is The Devouring Grey by Christine Lynn Herman. I've heard such good things about this. People have loved it and raved about it. I'm a little nervous because I feel like it's going to be a little scary, but I'm willing to check it out. 
Next is You Should See Me in a Crown by Leah Johnson. I did start this last month. I just didn't finish it. So my plan is to finish it this month. So definitely looking forward to finishing this. And the last book that I have is Arch Enemies by Marissa Meyer. This is also part of that sequel thing that I'm working on. <laughs> this is the sequel to Renegades. And so I'm throwing this onto the list of sequels that I would like to read this month to like break this habit of not continuing on in trilogies and series that I've somehow established in my life. I'm really excited to see what happens next though. The ending of Renegades was like I guessed it but it was still like surprising I guess in a way like it was still like a whoa I didn't know, think I would be right kind of thing. So I'm really excited to see what happens next and just check in with these characters again because I love them so much. Anyways, so that is my August TBR. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video. Hopefully everything I said makes sense. <laughs> if you liked the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments, concerns, questions, or about any of the books or anything I said in this video, please leave all that down below. If you are not good at commenting, I'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You're awesome flowers in a world full of weeds.